Welcome back to I Try to Make a Million Dollars But Being a Ladies Sim Ever. Um, continuing adventure as Miku Cheese. I don't know why I stopped. I'm still fucking high. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in. Uh, anyhow, if you don't know, we're doing a challenge where we're trying to make a million dollars. Well, someone's similin, similims, similims. I can't say shit. Anyhow. Without doing anything, like, we can't have a job, we can't sell, well, we can sell other people's items. We just can't be the one who made the item. So, I hope you guys enjoy this challenge. If you want me to try to tackle more challenge, comment comment down below. Um, I have a few other challenges in mind. So, let's kick things off of a party, mostly to murder Santa. I'm trying to set up to murder him by woohoo by death. And, but I will say it's pretty sick that we did a keg stand of Santa. That was pretty fucking awesome. But we slowly lure him into a false sense of security. It looks like Miku doesn't like him either, even though she's willing to bag him in the sack. But our attempts at murder failed. We woohooed this man like 10 times. I even trapped him in this place. Um, but after that, he asked us out on a date. I think he's into murder by sex. You know, maybe he's into that. Don't know. So we went out on a date with him. But this old bastard giving me more fuel. Why I hate this man. He pretty much ditched us on a day he invited us to. What the fuck, man? Y'all praising Santa and trying to be like, don't, you gotta be nice or Santa will give you a lump of coal. No, he'll just stood you up on a date. All you ask for Christmas is to get laid and have a date, and he gets you laid while he asks you on a date and then leave you there. What a bastard bitch he is. We go back to our regularly scheduled club meetings and profiting. Prof, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk in this video today, guys. Don't mind all the fubs. Uh, any whore. Um, yeah, we go back to leeching off of others. Let them do all the work. That's the whole point of this challenge. Um, I haven't really thought of another way to do things yet. This is like the only thing I can think of for clubs. Um, if there's another way to make money off Sims, maybe I should do some more research. But I am going to add another clause because I don't think I'm going to finish this challenge. And I would like to at least try to complete it. So we're going to throw in another rule set. Um, we can continue the line of our uh, challenge by having a baby, which we, uh, I'm not gonna do spoilers. But, so, um, someday I'll make official rules if anybody wants to try this, maybe. Someone, yeah, maybe. I have no clue. <laughs> then that bastard bitch called us again for another date. Will he still stand us up? Well, we're gonna find out anyways. Either way, I'm gonna be more determined ever in my life to kill this man. I will kill Santa. I will ruin kids' lives. Like he ruined my life. But, surprisingly, the date went well. I'm very surprised. Uh, the only reason I actually went on the date was to have a good holiday. Because it was a uh, love day or whatever the hell they call it this. I think I call it fuck day in the- <laughs> I renamed it. And we did some shady shit in the back. <laughs> Me and Santa Claus. You know how that song I caught- Mommy kissing Santa? Well, it's I caught mommy fucking Santa. I'm sorry, I'm ruining Christmas. I'm ruining Christmas. Uh, anyhow, we did some more remodeling. Because in the future, I have a plan. And also, I just want to make my people be more productive. Because we take a lot of breaks in between. And it's not getting far. And so I thought I'll upgrade the clubhouse a little bit. Add some pizzazz to it. Add a little bit more. <laughs> I made it look like a kid's room. God fucking damn it. I don't know what goes through my mind half the time. If you don't know, I pre-record all this shit. So this is already pre-recorded. But anyhow, I gave them a snack fridge and not just one coffee maker. I think I gave them a tea. So they have options. It's all caffeinated. One way or another, they're going to be all jacked up on caffeination. Okay. I got to keep making sure they make me the monies. And right away, we christen the room. Chris, 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 and I could and the words are hard. I hate words. Words are for squares. Anyhow, um, 
I've been saying that a lot in this video. Um, I'm not sorry. But right away, we start using the club room, and everyone seems to be liking it more. Seems like they've been doing a little bit more production. So that's always a pl Ow! plus. Momo, you bastard bitch, why did you claw at me? God damn it, my cat. Momo, come here, come here. You want some love? That's what you want, my little kitty. No, oh, he loves it. Stroking my pussy. <laughs> Alright, after giving my cat some love, Momo, my little bastard bitch. Um, we decided to make the house a little bit more party-esque by making a fuck circle. <laughs> I'm a degenerate. Everyone thinks that we're, like, people think if they never see any of my shit, they think I'm nice, innocent person, maybe because I have a baby face. Little did they know that I have a murder room in one of my sim playthroughs, and I have a fuck circle. I also have a sex dungeon in another so in another playthrough. Momo, what are you doing? So we throw another party. Um, we only get silver medal for this one, unfortunately. We're not doing so well on our aspiration journey. We must be. So the challenge to try to get the a million sims is the main part, but also complete an aspiration at least. And so far, we're not doing too well on the aspiration. We're doing a little right on money. Yeah, we're doing all right. We got two hundred thousand dollars at least. Well, more than that. I'm just rounding up. Um, so this is the part where I get bored on the challenge and decide to do some uh, costume changing. What the fuck am I picking out? I don't even remember picking out half the shit. Oh my god, I picked those. <laughs> god damn me. <laughs> oh god. At one point I thought to myself, can we have another club? So then while the other club's resting, we can get another club going and have them be making our shit for us. Will this work? Can we have like two clubs? We can have the other side like do shit for us? The only problem with starting another club this late in the game because I think Miku's almost to um, past her adulthood. I haven't checked in a while. Um, it will be profitable in the end. Because a lot of their skills are going to be lowered. The club's not going to be that built up. I wonder... Because I am going to put in a new clause for this. Is to have, like, if you give birth. As long as you have someone to continue the challenge to get to a million. I think... And I think if we actually do make this a full ch on challenge, I think this will be like if you get you get double points if you can do it in one sim cycle. So I'm wondering if we could add that. I'm still working on the rules. If you guys want to throw in some rules and stuff like that, we could try to implement. This is kind of like a test around for making my own challenge to see how it goes. Uh, but anyhow, back to us talking. Um, yeah, if I figured it out that clubs would have been the key to all this madness, I think I could have got the challenge done in one Sim's lifetime on Miku's. So I think I have hers on mid lifespan, I think. Game starts to get a little choppy here. Uh, whoopsies. Um, I wish I thought of that sooner. I was kind of hoping I could trap Sims and make them force them to paint for me, but they get moody so easy. And they stop working. So that's another reason why we have to. That's why I thought of making a second club, because the other club members can like rest and like get their like emotions back on track. Because after a while, they don't tend to themselves as well. AI Sims are very terrible at doing that shit. I don't know how shit started, uh, but I'm hoping the second club will work out. I hope it's not too late in the game to start a second club. At least we're setting up for our next sim, actually, our next one that's coming along, our next baby, hopefully. So another idea crossed my mind, and that is, what if I have two clubs going on, going on at the same time? Madness? Yes. Money-wise, I think I'm going to make a lot of money at once. I don't know if this technique's gonna be faster if I have two going at once. 
Will I make more money or would the Sims all distract each other? That is my question because who knows what's going to happen. And also like, <laughs> is my other strat better where I rotate between the two? I can't always have the consistent money going through. Or should I just stick with doing two clubs at once until the other club makes? Like, they get their skills up high enough where they can start making those masterpiece paintings, like, worth a lot of money. Because our first club, they got the skills now. They have them then. So those paintings are worth more than a thousand dollars right now. Versus the other ones, all their paintings are, like, under 500 right now. Most of them. So I'm really wondering if this way is a little bit better. Like, let them build up while we still continue our other club, or give our other club a break and continue going back and forth between the two. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. So, after giving our club, mem or, well, our du dual wielding clubs a break, we managed to make an extra like $20,000 during that time as a test run. I, I don't think I did it for long, I don't remember. Usually I just play and sit there and just stare at the screen and wonder what am I doing with my life. But anyhow, uh, Santa comes by again to get frisky with us and we try to murder him again. But unfortunately this man does not die by woohoo. I m wish I could just murder him through death by woohoo. I don't know if he just, because he's Santa Claus, he has like the greatest stamina in the world. I guess that's great for Mrs. Claus. Fuck. Poor her. Anywho, uh, as you saw, we're throwing another party. An incognito party. I don't know what's the difference between this one and the other one. The spooky party. Because no one's not really in, like, disguise or anything. But we failed this one. We are bronze medal. Didn't work out in our favor too well. So we just went back to try and make more money after that. And sleep in our chair of sadness. Boohoo, bitches, boohoo. Again, at one point I get bored and decided to change the outfits again. This time for the women, give them a nice outfit change, make them look like the harbingers of death. Like, they're in charge. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for, to be honest. I'm just saying shit on my ass. I do know that I go back and change the men's outfit because I want to make them look like maids. I don't, I don't know why. I have, I have, I love men in maid outfits. Don't kink shame me. Go to hell, all of you. No, I'm joking. Um, Anywho, unfortunately, there's no true maid outfits in The Sims 4, which kind of pisses me off because there's always been a maid outfit in every Sims game, at least I know of. I don't remember Sims 3, but I remember in Sims 1 and Sims 2, there was a freaking maid outfit. So I just stuck with what we got here. A somewhat maid outfit. And I took the helmet off and put them in a paper bag. As a shits and jokes and a mo- mo-, mo I don't know how to say the word anymore. Oh god, words are just for squares, guys. Words are for squares. Um, if you ever watch Scary Movie, it's like that moment where he like puts the bag on the ghost. <laughs> kind of like that situation. We do that. Don't judge me, okay? All you guys do stupid shit in Sims. I bet no one plays the game like a normal person. If you do, comment down below. And why do you play like, play like a normal person? <laughs> so after that, we started to do another Sessinger again, because we're trying to make some more money as quickly as possible, of course, because, like I said, Miku's life cycle is coming to an end very soon. I think that's the one reason why I was going to get pregnant, the delay, the inevitable of her death, of her old age. Um... But by the end of the session, we made like 350, I think, thousand, maybe, I don't remember, it's been so long. After that, I decided to focus more on trying to finish more of our aspiration and trying to get more uh, goal ones. Unfortunately, every social event we did, we either got silver or it didn't count. <laughs> we tried doing this great mountain walking but uh unfortunately Mika was not have it she looks <laughs> she's like fuck this shit look at her we forced santa to come with us <laughs> because um i didn't know a lot about this mountain this hiking adventure i didn't realize you need gear and shit and Miku has nothing and she has no skills that are worth it so this failed ultimately 
After that, I tried throwing a Kava party and that ultimately failed. Spoiler alert. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hopefully we can gain some ground and try to make a little bit more money before we get to that point in Nika's life. In Nika's life. Um, one day I'll eventually have the rule set in solid stone like a whole thing and maybe in the future we'll try this again. Have a restart. Um, but if there's any sims challenges you guys want me to do, let me know down in the comments. I have a few in mind. I definitely want to tackle the one the baby challenge again, because I failed last time, technically. So I just was like, fuck it. We'll redo it again. And I, th I have another one in mind. I'm thinking about doing a reverse baby challenge. I'm not thinking done that. I'm going to do a little research to see if they have any rule sets out there. If they don't, then I'm going to try to do my own. I want to do once. I want to do sim male sims, and try to get a hundred different female ladies pregnant. I think it'd be a little harder because you can't use like traits like twins and stuff like that, or like anything like that for the apartments and stuff or house, I should say, in general. Anyhow, um, that's my favorite word. I'm um, sorry that we tried to kill Santa so many times in this video, but also I'm not sorry. Um, if you're enjoying these videos too, uh, please subscribe, please. I put a lot of time and effort in these ones, because I do voiceovers and everything. And that, I hope y'all stay spooky, bitches.